Yo, what is going on guys, this is Rockin' here and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to 3D camera track text, images, logos, pretty much whatever you want into your Valorant cinematics. These techniques will apply in any kind of cinematic, whether it's CSGO, Overwatch, Rainbow Six, whatever game, it will work exactly the same. However, I'm going to be showing you specifically on Valorant cinematics. I'm going to be showing you After Effects as well. I don't have any experience with any other editing softwares like Sony Vegas or DaVinci Resolve and things like that. So if you are using those sort of softwares, you're going to have to try and find some other sort of video or have a look down in the comment section if anyone knows how to do anything or has any resources whether that's you know their own tutorials or anything like that using other software uh, link them in the comment section so it's, it's easier for people to go and find them as unfortunately you know I don't know how to do that in those other softwares if you need any cinematics if you haven't recorded any already then I did release a Valorant cinematics pack a few days ago which will be the card in the top right top link in the description and also as the end card on this video if you'd like to go and download those it's all completely free or if you'd like to record record your own cinematics I did record a, a tutorial on how to record your own cinematics a few days ago as well which will be the card in the top right now also on the end of the video and the second link in the description so now that's all out of the way first thing you want to do obviously is create a new project file in After Effects and then a new composition at whatever resolution you recorded your cinematic at so for example I recorded mine 1920 by 1080 therefore I'm going to leave that as it is I'm going to set my duration to I don't know 20 seconds we'll say um, and I'm going to call mine tutorial and hit OK. So now you've got this composition which is set up perfectly for the cinematic that you're going to be using. I'm just going to drag and drop one in out of my pack which is going to be going to be this one. As you can see there are there are plenty to choose from in here over 75 so go download them if you're interested. If you want to follow along I'm using uh, Ascend 22 so you can drag and drop that into your composition. So the next part you're going to want to drag it onto your onto your timeline obviously and crop it down and scale it to however you want the cinematic to be if you're not using one out of my pack which has already been done for you. So this one should be perfectly fine. It starts and stops at, right at the beginning and the end of the, of the clip and it's scaled perfectly already, no hard, no nothing like that. So we're pretty much good to go on that front. If you wanna know how to edit these cinematics to have them look like this, ideally better than this, be sure to check out my editing cinematics tutorial, which I released about a week ago, which will be the card in the top right and the third link in the description as well. I wanna add my text around here, I'm gonna say, like in front of this lion sort of thing, basically in the middle of where this um, this pillar uh, and the part part of this wall and these uh, these tiles on the floor um, are sort of in the in this space. So to do that, you're going to want to go over to Tracker, which is uh, down here. If you don't have it, you can go to Window, and then you'll see Tracker here, um, and select that, and it should pop up over here. And then you want to select your the the cinematic that you want to camera track, and hit Track Camera. So now what it's going to do is it's going to analyze the background, basically point out certain sections in here, like, you know, for example, the corner here, corner up there, maybe part of this window, you know, hopefully parts around where we want to put our text. And it's going to figure out where they are in a 3D space so that we can sort of put our text or logo or whatever you want to put in there and have it appear in 3D space and stay as if it was in the cinematic to begin with. So I'll show you what that looks like once it's done analysing. And as you can see up here, it's about 99% done, 100% done. It's now going to solve the camera, which you'll see will put all these points everywhere like I was talking about a minute ago, which you can now zoom through uh, and you can see all the different points that it's uh, that it's picked out for us. If you do what I just did there and you lose, lose the, the tracking points and you can't figure out how to get them back, you know, clicking on it's not bringing it back, all you got to do, hit this down arrow, hit effects, click on the camera track and it'll all pop back up. Or you can just go to the top left, click camera tracker there and you'll be able to see them again. So basically what we're going to want to do now is I've already decided I want my, um, if I put this on, you know, slightly higher res, I want my cinematic or my text to be in this area here. So I'm going to want to try and find one to three, ideally three, but you know, one will work as well. It just may, uh, may not look uh, absolutely perfect. One or three points that are around this area or as close as we can get to it that are present throughout the majority of the cinematic. So, for example, I'm going to, you know, click on here to get the points back and I'm going to want to see, you know, so we've got this red one, this red one, uh, this was that green one, purple, you know, these ones around here. You're going to want to try and find ones that are there throughout the entire thing. So uh, as I go through, you can see that those two red ones have been there the whole time. You know, let's see how long they stay for. Okay, so the, only this one stayed. This new one's popped up. Um, and that red one's disappeared just then. So you're going to want to try and find one that stays there the whole time. So for example, I'm now looking at this purple one down here. 
You see, that has been there right from the start. You see? There it is. I'm going to go all the way through. And it is still there. And so is this purple one. So if we can go back and try and create... What about this? Hold on. Because you need to select one of three. That, that green one, does that stay there the whole time? Let's see. It pretty much does. So I'm going to say that that's probably our best bet. So we're going to come back here and you'll see this little target creates a triangle between three points. Um, if you don't want it to, you can just select one, you see, just select one. Um, if you only have one, you know, it's a bit give or take what it decides to track. But I'm going to go with these three. You see, I can put a, a, this triangle is now appearing between this one, this one and this one, which is where we want it to be. Okay, so now that we've decided that we want to track to these three, to these three points, we're just going to make it so that the triangle appears between the three of them. Click, right click, create solid in camera, and there you go. So now you can see this solid is effectively camera tracked already. You see it stays exactly where it should be in the frame the whole time, which is exactly what we want. But obviously, you know, you don't want a, you know, a purple solid there. Uh, you want whatever text or logo you want to put there. So to start off with, we're just going to select it and we're going to try and position it as close to where we want it as possible. To rotate it, just press R on the keyboard as long as this is selected and you've got all of these different things. I wouldn't touch orientation, just go for X rotation, Y rotation and Z rotation to try and get it as straight as you can. You know, zoom out a little bit, make sure that the perspective is exactly how you want it. So for me, I want to move, move that around a bit, have it look something like that, a bit more, something just like that. It's not perfect. We can always change it later. But pretty much, as you can see, this purple, purple object is now tracked perfectly to our camera. And obviously, you don't want this purple, uh, purple square there. You can put whatever you want on it. And in order to do that, you're going to click on it over here in the timeline, right click, hit pre-compose, leave all attributes and tutorial, call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it text because I want to put text in it and hit OK. Now you can see that is still there. It hasn't been affected. But now if we go into text, we can change what we put in here. So if I remove this solid, as you, if you go up to tutorial, you see it's now disappeared and we've just got this uh, empty part here. So double click on text again and I want to add new text. So I'm going to right click new text and I'm going to type tutorial. Maybe I'll scale it up a little bit, um, something like that. And then I want to move this, I want to try and center it as much as I can. It really doesn't matter if it's centered, you know, you can always adjust it in the in the main composition itself. But I want to center it, so I'm going to move the anchor point to the middle using the, uh, the pan behind tool and then layer, transform, center and view. So now if we go back to the tutorial, you should see that in fact it is in here. I made a mistake of rotating the uh, composition before we'd put or changed any of the things inside of it. So I really didn't know what orientation the um, the square was gonna be. So you can either fix that by rotating it in here or you can just come to here and I believe is it Z? There you go. And just flip that, I'm just gonna say minus 90 degrees. And there you go. You can see it's pretty much, pretty much centered. So now all I wanna do is drag it to exactly where I want it to be in the in the cinematic. So I sort of want to have it go, see if I can have it go through the O. So I'm gonna bring it down a little bit, go to the left, and there you go. Just like that, if I bring the resolution to full, you'll see it's not pixelated at all, perfectly fine, you know. I'm gonna go through, um, and it's all good to go. Obviously, you can change the uh, the resolution. Like, you know, if I get too close here, you can see it does start to become pixelated. So in order to fix that, what I'd want to do is go over to where it says text, find it up here in the project, composition settings, change the resolution to maybe 2560 by 2560. Um, obviously, if yours isn't pixelated, leave it exactly as it is. There's no point messing around with it if you don't have to. And you can see it's now a lot bigger. I'm just going to scale and drag drag that in a bit to roughly the same size and then go into the text layer again and change the size of this text do not if you're going to scale text don't use the uh the scale down here as that will make it pixelated yeah but instead of scaling it over here what you're going to want to do instead is uh select the text tool over here select the text and you can see over here where it has the 
the font size, you're just gonna wanna scale that instead because that'll actually change the font size itself and not, not just scale what's already on the layer. So to me, that looks about how we had it before. Go back to the main comp and you can see it's perfectly fine and as we go as we go in you know we might have to make some adjustments because the uh, the center point I believe has now changed yes it has I don't know why After Effects does that but it does so if I center that again just like we did last time and go back you know maybe I want to move it slightly to the left something like that you can see it's now much higher resolution obviously it has when the resolution's higher it does change uh, certain things that like you notice that the stroke was uh, a bit larger before which you know we can you can change it's just minor details like this uh you know i'll increase the stroke you know maybe to nine pixels to see what that looks like there you go it's much thicker now minor details like this you know you can sort out yourself depending on what you're doing to suit your needs now, this is just a tutorial to show you the basics and then you can use your creative talent to do whatever you want with it whether that's you know you want to change the color of the text you want to put you know a text that you made uh, with a different font, different uh, outline, different whatever, uh, import an image from Photoshop, pretty much whatever you want to do you can do it uh, in that composition. So you go, you can see it goes straight through, straight through the O. I'll render this out quickly to uh, to show you what it looks like. And there you go, I've rendered that out, um, I'll play it on screen now so you see what that looks like. And this is what it'll look like once it's been edited. If you want to learn to edit cinematics like that, be sure to check out my uh, editing cinematics tutorial which I released about a week ago. Second link in the description I believe, um, I can't remember what I said earlier, and uh, also on the, the end card. But now just to show you what else is possible, so for example if I wanted to add an image, I can remove this, uh, remove this in here, and I can drag and drop an image into it, drag it into the project, and then onto our, uh, our composition, and scale it up. Obviously, you know, the higher, the more you scale it, the lower quality it's going to be. And then back into our main thing, and there you go. Now you can see an image has now been placed in here instead, which works just the same as a uh, as text would. One thing to note quickly is, uh, as I was rendering out, I did notice you can see I've shrunk the uh, the uh, the work area to just below the end of the cinematics, which is you know this is the section that it will render from. As when you got when I got to about here, it says unable to solve camera for this frame. And basically what that means is After Effects was unable to put any of them little dots that we had earlier anywhere because there's just not enough information here. And you can see why it's literally just leaves. The easiest thing to do to fix this is just to, it's right at the end here so it's not that big of a deal for us. Crop the end off, there you go, and, and we're good. Um, obviously, you know, the, the logo has carried on because this, uh, this composition uh, lasts longer than the clip actually does so we can just cut that as well and now that's gone and you can put you know another cinematic do the exact same thing afterwards and it's pretty much good to go exactly as it is and there you go that's pretty much all it is for this tutorial I'm gonna be making a tutorial in a couple of days showing you how to do 3d text rather than just 2d and images um, that's gonna be completely separate and I'll be releasing that in two days time so stay tuned subscribe turn on notifications to be notified when that comes out if it's something you're interested in if you found this tutorial useful make Make sure to like the video and let me know in the comments if you use this and link me to a video where you've used it you know i'm really interested to see what you guys do with it if you need cinematics check out my cinematics pack need any inspiration check out my latest montage and other than that i'll uh, i'll see you in the next video